Brotherhood ain't exactly tacticians, but they got at least one thing right. Getting paid to do nothing is love. If we want to be major players, we got to get some protection rackets going. And we might as well start with the neighborhood that loves to pay out. Chinatown. Wanna play? The guy running the Brotherhood Protection Rackets owns the Pagoda Hotel. Shake him down and everyone else will fold.
Oh. <laughs> Carlos, where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. Jessica, how'd you like Meryl's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive? That's cute. I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking bitch! Course, I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I'm I asking you we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mero gave you a chance to be his partner. God, you again? Where'd Mero take Carlos? I don't know where he is. Wrong answer. I can't tell you. Mero will kill me. Nice try, I'll stop when you talk. Fuck you. I'm not helping you again. Oh. Bitch, you trying my patience. Go to hell. This is your last chance. I heard him say that we're going to take him on a ride around the docks.
One of my boys watched Donnie's mechanic shop after you shook him down. Merrill went to check on Donnie, but when he left, he went straight to the docks to set up some business deal. I don't know what's going on, but a convoy of Brotherhood are going to the docks now. If you can hijack one of their trucks, you could probably join the convoy, get to the meeting place, and take out all the motherfuckers that show up.
Sorry. No problem. I got it. Watch out. Jesus Christ, are you trying to get killed? Look, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost dented my car on a hippie chair. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Mero, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandy, we're gonna hack or what? Hey, boss. Shandy, I'm watching Bobby and Amber. Can I wait? Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over. I can't believe Troy's the chief of police. Hey, Jessica, you gonna turn off that alarm? Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button! Jessica, you gonna turn off that alarm? Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button!
No, you're not. What's this? Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, that car crushing thing was pretty tight. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of my work. It's just, I got so wrapped up in sending Mero a message, I never asked Jessica about the shipment. Bitch is dead. Who cares about the shipment? I do. It's something that Mero wants, and that means I'm gonna take it. All right, there's gotta be someone you can pump for information. What about Donnie? He got manhandled twice. I'm pretty sure he's out of the loop, if not dead. Hey, what about their What about their tattoo artist? Good idea. Wh what just happened? Shondi had a good idea. And what the fuck ever? She stole my- Don't be jealous, Pierce. We're all on the same team. You said before that this guy's in a band called the Feed Dogs, right? Yeah. They're playing tonight. Shouldn't be too hard to crash the show. Nice call, Shondi. What you said we borrowed a Feed Dogs power truck? out the way. Walk out of here! Let's see what this bad boy can do. You're a hell of a driver, you know that? You mind stopping these assholes from shooting us? You hear that? That is music. What the hell are we listening to? Fuck you! I'm driving, we gonna listen to whatever the hell I want! You doing alright back there? I'm fine, keep driving! Serious problem if you don't step it up back there. It's like I've been saying, Pierce. Shawnee's been on point with a good idea. Why the fuck you gotta bring up Shandy? I'm the one driving the damn truck.
What you say we borrowed a feed dog's pyro truck? See what this bad boy can do. At least I'm not the only one here. You hear that? That is music. What the hell are we listening to? The fuck you. I'm driving. We're gonna listen to whatever the hell I want. You doing all right back there? I'm fine. Keep driving. Like I've been saying, Pierce, shawnee has been on point with the good ideas. Why the fuck you gotta bring up Shondi? I'm the one driving the damn truck! The concert started! Get in there! A lot of gear on this stage I haven't played with yet. You gotta believe me. I just tattoo the gang. They don't fill me in on what they're doing. Remember that time you inked up Mero and you never heard him talk about a shipment with Jessica? All I heard is that it's coming in by boat. They leave me out of the loop on purpose. They were trying to keep me from getting mixed up in their shit. Your friends should have tried harder. Come on, I told you everything I know. Enjoy your retirement. Hey, Sean. You know anyone that works at the dock? Not really. Looks like you get to make some new friends. Now he's got a shipment coming in by boat, and I want to get it before he does. Okay, I'll take care of it.
double shifts. One way or the other. On the ground, creep! all over for you. We got a serious... Damn, those are some nice shoes. You want to sit down? Yeah. No, we, we got a problem. What's up? The Brotherhood are all over our turf. What do you mean, all over? I mean, those assholes are driving around in some big-ass trucks blowing shit up. Great. You got the boys out there taking care of this? Yeah, about that. You're not filling me with confidence, Pierce. What happened? Well, they kind of got arrested by the cops. Fuck you say? You got a bunch of big tattooed motherfuckers running around burning shit and you're surprised the cops show up? This just keeps getting better.
Oh, there's a Mr. Marrow here to see you. Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Here, bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Altor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. And old Tor would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Hello, Troy. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your, uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. <laughs> Spare me. Alright, they're not getting released and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. I suspect I'll hear from you soon. Uh -huh.